All right, in this part two demonstration on the DIM Expert, we'll pick up where we left off and show some additional functionality and options available to the user when you use the DIM Expert. First off, it's probably fairly important that we understand where SolidWorks gets its information on how it's going to create these dimensions and tolerances. Basically, these are all covered in the, in the uh, Tools Options settings. If I go to Tools Options and then Document Properties, where you're accustomed to specifying things like your drafting standard, your units, your number of decimal places, and so forth, you'll see a group of settings for DIM Expert. Under this DIM Expert heading, there are a number of different settings that let us choose the tolerance method that are used, as well as the actual tolerance values that are in use for various types of features, like diameter features, counter bores, width features, and uh, just general length and, and depth dimensions. So the user needs to go through and set up the various uh, dimension and tolerances that are going to be used, as well as the display types. And those are set as document properties. Now another thing that we can do, you'll notice that this model already has a geometric tolerance scheme applied to it. And we can see that in the, the tab on the Feature Manager tree for the DIM Expert, you can see the various features that those dimensions apply to. Now if you're not satisfied with this scheme, you can delete any individual dimension or group of dimensions and recreate them manually, or you can delete the entire scheme and redimension it. Just by right-clicking on the model, I'll choose to delete the scheme, and this time I'll reuse the auto dimension scheme, but this time I'll specify a plus-minus tolerance scheme. I then just need to specify my datums. I'll choose the front face, the large bore in the center, and the right end face. SolidWorks will then apply the DIM Expert and we have a completely different scheme with different dimensions and uh, you can now see that we have the plus, uh, the plus minus tolerance type that's been applied. Notice the intelligence that SolidWorks has applied here in recognizing that there appear to be two identical holes on the top and the bottom and it has automatically grouped those together. Now if your design intent changes to where you want those holes to be dimensioned individually you just right click on the dimension and choose the option to break the combined dimension. And now the DIM expert recognizes that there are two different features involved here. And those dimensions can be handled accordingly. If you change your mind, you can right click and choose to combine those together. Control select, right click and combine and we'll see those put back in place. Now of course we could very quickly go to the drawing mode and make a new drawing from the part and assembly uh, from the part just as we demonstrated in part one of our DIM expert videos but the other thing I want to point out is that the DIM expert annotations can be propagated directly to an e-drawing so when you choose to to publish an e-drawing file those DIM expert annotations automatically propagate right into the e-drawing file which makes it great for working in a paperless environment where the user on the shop floor for example can use the PDM system or can just view this file across the network in the e drawings viewer and automatically have access to a fully dimensioned manufacturable part with all the necessary dimensions and tolerances in place. So there's some great features involved uh, in, in using the DIM Expert. Stay tuned for more demonstrations coming up.